Have you been hitting the gym regularly, lifting weights but not noticing any results? Maybe it's time you tried compound exercises. Hi viewers and welcome back to Bestie. Compound exercises are some of the best ways to get a body transforming workout. These movements use multiple muscle groups at once, meaning you can get your cardio in while you're toning your abs, arms, and legs. The best compound exercises help you build strength while also getting your heart rate up all in a single super fun sweat session. And in today's video, we'll tell you the best compound exercises that'll make you stronger. From thrusters, box crawl, dumbbell shoulder press, rainbow slam to kettlebell swing and more. Watch until the end to learn about all of them. Number one, plank drag. This exercise targets your upper back, obliques, and arms. Come down to your knees, setting them wide apart. Hinge forward to a plank position keeping your knees on the mat. Place a dumbbell on the mat right above one leg. With the hand that's furthest away from the dumbbell, slide the dumbbell across the mat to rest above the other leg. Replace your hand on the mat. Repeat with the other hand, keeping the hips level while you pull. Perform 10 reps each side. What's the longest you've been able to hold the plank position? Tell us quickly down below in the comment section. Number two lateral squat with bicep curl. This is a great compound exercise that works for your biceps, abs, glutes, quads, and inner thighs. Start with a light dumbbell placed at shoulder height in each hand, palms facing in and feet planted wide apart. Shift your body weight to lean onto your right glute, bending the right knee and pushing your hips back as you squat down. Make sure your bending knee is pointed forward and your left leg stays straight. As you squat, bring your arms down to frame your bent leg between both dumbbells. Push off your right foot to come back to the starting position, curling your arms up so that your dumbbells are shoulder height once again. Repeat on the other side. Perform 10 reps on each side. Number three, thruster. This is a combination of two compound exercises, the front squat and overhead press. It's rivaled only by the burpee when it comes to total body exercise. Stand with your feet hip width apart, holding a barbell by your chest with your elbows bent and pointing forwards. You can also perform the move holding dumbbells by your shoulders or kettlebells in the rack position. Sit your hips to lower into a squat, then push back up explosively through your heels, using the momentum to push the barbell above your head until your arms are extended. Lower the barbell under control to your chest. Number four, barbell deadlift. The deadlift exercise is a hip hinge movement pattern targeting many different muscle groups at once. It uses multiple joints, including the hips, knees, and ankles. Perform this compound movement with an overhand grip. You'll work the forearms, glutes, hamstrings, calves, lats, traps, and abs. Stand behind a barbell with your feet about shoulder width apart. Sit your hips back, bend your knees slightly, and lean your torso forward maintaining a tight core and a flat back. Grab the bar, placing your hands shoulder width apart, palms facing in toward your body. Push your feet into the floor and stand up tall, pulling the weight with you and keeping your arms straight. Bring your hips forward and squeeze your abs and glutes at the top. Slowly reverse the movement, bending your knees and pushing your butt back to lower the weight back to the floor. Keep the bar close to your body the entire time and maintain a flat back. This is one rep. Number five, box crawl. Start on hands and knees. Lift knees off the floor until hips are slightly higher than shoulders and you're supported by the balls of your feet. Crawl forward, stepping with your right hand and left foot, then left hand and right foot. Crawl in a box formation with two crawls in each direction, forward, to the right, to the back, and to the left. Number six, front lunge with twist. This exercise is great for your glutes, hamstrings, abs, and hips. Stand up tall with your feet shoulder width apart and your arms outstretched in front of you. Step the right foot forward into a lunge position, keeping your arms outstretched. Your front leg should form a 90 degree angle and your knee should not extend beyond your toes. Your back leg will also form a 90 degree angle. In the lunge position, twist your upper body to the right, then twist back to the center. Return the right leg to the starting position and lunge forward to repeat the movement with the left leg. Perform eight to 10 lunges on each leg. Work up to three sets. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? 
Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all of our great bestie content. Number 7. Dumbbell Shoulder Press on Exercise Ball For this exercise, you need a set of dumbbells and an ab or exercise ball. This will work your abs, deltoids, pectoralis major, and triceps brachii. Begin seated on an exercise ball with your core engaged. Hold one dumbbell in each hand. Place dumbbells on your thighs to start and then use your thighs to help you propel the dumbbells up to shoulder height at a 90 degree angle with elbows to the sides and dumbbells facing forward. Press dumbbells straight up until your arms are straight overhead. Slowly return your arms to a 90 degree angle with your elbows in the shoulder height position. Don't go lower than this or you'll put pressure on your shoulder joint. Perform 12 to 15 reps. Work up to three sets. Number eight. Squat, curl, and press. Moving from a squat to an overhead press gets the heart rate going while building shapely glutes and gams. Stand with your feet directly under your hips holding a dumbbell in each hand. Sit back into your squat, keeping the weight in your heels, bringing your thighs parallel to the floor without letting your knees go beyond your toes. Push through your heels to return to standing while bringing the weights to your shoulders. Performing a bicep curl, your torso and keep your arms moving upward performing an overhead press with the palms facing out. Lower your arms to your side to complete one rep. Number 9. Banded Assisted Pull-Up Place a large resistance band securely around a pull-up bar. A band with more resistance will provide you with more assistance momentum to pull yourself up. Stand on a stable object like a bench and grip the pull-up bar. With one hand, place the band around the arch of your shoe. Fully extend the banded leg. With a neutral spine and your abs engaged, pull yourself up. The band will provide you with momentum to lift your body up. Lower back down to the starting position. Number 10. Close Grip Bench Press This compound exercise is great for your triceps, chest, and shoulders. Lie flat on a bench on your back, facing the ceiling. Keep your feet planted firmly on the ground with the barbell racked above you. Hold on to the bar in a close grip. What a close grip means to you depends on your normal bench grip. However, for most, this will be around shoulder width apart. Unrack the bar. Hold it steadily above you. Brace into your stomach and slowly bring the bar down to your chest. Ensure that your elbows remain close to your body as you do so. Once you've lowered the bar, push until your arms are locked out. Repeat. Number 11. Squat to overhead press with rotation. Start standing with your feet hip distance apart. Toes pointed out slightly and dumbbells in hands, resting on shoulders. Sit back into a squat until thighs are parallel with the floor, then drive up through your heels to return to standing while pressing right arm toward the ceiling, turning your torso left and pivoting on the right foot. Return to center, drop into another squat, then press back up, this time raising the left arm towards the ceiling, turning torso right and pivoting on the left foot. That's one rep. Repeat for one minute. Squats are an amazing exercise to make a part of your regular workout routine. Learn more about all of its benefits by watching. Do squats every day and see what happens to your body. Now back to the best compound exercises for amazing strength. Number 12. Rainbow Slam Start standing with feet shoulder width apart, holding a medicine ball in front of the right hip. Rise up on balls of your feet while lifting weight overhead and pivoting on right foot to turn body toward left side and swing medicine ball in arc with force to bounce off the ground outside left foot. Catch it and return to start. Repeat on the opposite side. That's one rep. Repeat for one minute. Number 13. Wide Lat Pull Down Sit down on a pull down machine with a wide bar attached to the top pulley. Adjust the knee pad of the machine to fit your height to prevent your body from being raised by the resistance attached to the bar. Grab the bar with your palms facing forwards and hands wider than shoulder width apart. As you breathe out, bring the bar down until it touches your upper chest by drawing your shoulders and upper arms down and back. Your forearm shouldn't be doing any of the work. Your upper torso should remain stationary and only your arms should move. Pause for a second at the contracted position and squeeze your muscles back. Then, while inhaling, slowly raise the bar back to the starting position. Number 14. Kettlebell Swing This kettlebell classic is a great exercise for working a serious number of muscles, hitting your glutes, hips, hamstrings, back and shoulders, and even challenging your grip strength. Stand with your feet shoulder-width apart. 
holding a kettlebell in two hands and letting it hang in front of you. Bend at the knees and hips to move the kettlebell backwards through your legs. Drive your hips forwards and straighten up, swinging the kettlebell to shoulder height. Control the swing back down and go straight into the next rep. Apart from the exercising, yoga is another great way to stay on top of your health. Learn more about all of its benefits by watching 15 Healthy Benefits of Doing Yoga for 10 Minutes Every Day or 9 Yoga Poses That Will Improve Your Digestive Health. So go ahead and watch one or both of these videos for maximum benefits. How often do you do compound exercises? Let us know in the comments below.